Today, we're diving into some fascinating developments in the AI world, particularly the rumors circulating on Twitter and Reddit about OpenAI's so-called Strawberry or QSTAR update. We're going to break down what we know and try to keep things as non-speculative and factual as possible. Recently, there has been chatter about a GBD4 update. Now, I don't think this is the major update some are expecting, but it seems OpenAI might have pushed out some improvements. This isn't surprising given the fact that Google has recently taken the lead in some benchmarks, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet has been performing exceptionally well. I did quick testing myself, asking GPT-4 to count the letters in a word, specifically, how many R's are in the word strawberry? Interestingly, it got it wrong. This does not mean GPT-4 is suddenly worse, but it does highlight an interesting point about tokenization and language models. You see, these models don't process text letter by letter like we do. They use tokens, which are portions of words, which can affect how they interpret and count letters. Now, here's where things get really interesting. There's speculation about a larger GPT-4 model coming soon. These rumors suggest the current GPT-4 is actually a 70 billion parameter model, with OpenAI sitting on a massive 405 billion parameter version. Remember, the O in GPT-4 O stands for Omni. It's supposed to be a multimodal model capable of handling text, images, audio, and even 3D content. We haven't seen all these capabilities publicly yet, which adds credibility to the idea of a larger, more capable model waiting in the wings. There's also a buzz about a very small OpenAI model called Column R that's using something called Strawberry. The claim is that this tiny model, possibly just 7 or 8 billion parameters, can reason at level comparable to much larger models. It's described as more akin to reinforcement learning with human feedback than just throwing compute at the problem. If true, this could be a game changer in AI efficiency. Furthermore, it looks like Google might be gearing up for a big release next week, possibly on Tuesday or Thursday. These tend to be big tech's favorite days for AI releases. Historically, OpenAI has often encountered Google moves quickly. Remember how they overshadowed Google's impressive Project Astra demo? We might see a similar pattern here this week. As these models get more capable, safety becomes a bigger concern. OpenAI has a preparedness framework that scores models and factors like model autonomy, persuasion capabilities, and potential for biological or cybersecurity threats. Models scoring too high on these factors won't be released publicly. There's a delicate balance between capability and safety that needs to be maintained. This might play a role in when OpenAI's strawberry model might be released. I think next week could be huge for AI. We're likely to see something significant from Google and possibly a response from OpenAI with all the strawberry hype floating around. There's also the possibility of new deployment models for these advanced AIs. One idea floating around is a licensing system for advanced AI use, similar to how we license people to work with certain chemicals. This could ensure accountability and help track usage of these powerful models. That's the rundown of what's happening in AI right now. Remember, a lot of this is based on speculation, but it's exciting to think about the possibilities given the current evidence. We're potentially on the cusp of seeing some major leaps in AI capabilities balanced against crucial safety considerations. If I missed anything or if you have thoughts on these developments, let me know in the comments below and see you next time.